What's up everyone? This is DL Nukes in the building. Back with another video. And for me, I've been thinking a whole lot. I've been sitting back and just, well, mostly been going through therapy and everything. Physical therapy. Just got an MRI today on my shoulder. And also been thinking about if I should do face cam again or not. I don't know. But before I do that, please, if y'all can enjoy it. Oh. Dang, I'm, I missed that wrist. That, that hurt me a lot. But anyway, if y'all enjoy the gameplay that I put out here, I did some on Melee on Ranked. So to see if I can at least part with some of the people. Y'all know I normally like, enjoy playing Smash Bros. But if y'all enjoy it, please hit that like button because I really appreciate it. It helps support me and everything that I, that I can do in the future. I'll say that much. But today, I've been, I had some good news, some good announcements. Like, I had people that reached me outside the internet, because I don't be on the internet a whole lot. And it's really appreciative when people come off stream, talk to me, ask if I'm okay, see if I was all right. I, I really do enjoy that. And I've been seeing that through a few of my videos. People took the time to just say, oh, you're okay, I hope you do well. I'm happy on that. So that's neither here or there. I enjoy it, I really appreciate it. And I will be doing a 24 hour stream tomorrow. That is guaranteed, a 24 hour stream. But here's where we get to the meat and potatoes of things. Here's where we get to the meat and potatoes of things. Well, number one, me doing the 24 hour stream is where I'm gonna stream it on. Twitch or Kick, those are my main choices. Because right now, Twitch is in a whole lot of controversy and I already made an account on Kick just in case because I wanted to do something crazy. I wanted to have some fun, 24 hours. So I was thinking which one would I would, and this was days ago. I was like, should I do a 24-hour stream on Twitch? Or should I do a 24-hour debut stream on Kick? So, I made a decision. I just made a decision that I will end up, because throughout the controversy, I'm gonna take my final decision in. Throughout the controversy, I end up seeing Twitch going through a whole lot of stuff, especially when it comes to advertising, which I want to do some advertising in the future. I want to get some brand deals and stuff. I want to make money. That's my end goal. I want to make money. I want to have fun with people. That's what my base on my channel. That's the base thing of my channel is I want to have fun with everyone and, and include everyone in my channel just to have fun, participate, to enjoy themselves. If I can't do that, then the channel for me is halfway meaningless. I'm subpar entertaining, but when it comes to people, they make it. The people makes it entertaining, not me. And I have fun with the people. So advertising, it sucks. People are getting banned for ridiculous reasons, which actually cloud cloud my judgment with Twitch. Like I see many people get banned for no reason. Like there are some people that get banned for. People get banned for obvious reasons or reasons that it'd be like, all right, I can see where I got banned for. That That's understandable. But if you get banned for no reason, especially just banned just to get banned, like Dr. Disrespect, who got banned when no one knows the reason why, or if your rage got banned for one time for his logo. He got banned for his logo and it just, it's just a photo of his face, a fan-made photo of his face. This is a fan-made profile of his face, that's it. No one, no one beheaded nothing like that. It's just a fan art. They use as a logo, use as the, um, yeah, logo. They got banned for that. And even more so, more recently, a dude that got banned from Twitch for playing his own 
video he played his own music. He has his own music in his playlist that he made, his own lo-fi music, and he got banned for it. And those are his own music, non-copyrighted, just his own created music. It's like saying Flay Rex has a music video on Twitter, I mean on Twitter, but YouTube, his own music video, everyone heard his music, and all of a sudden he wanted to play it on Twitch while he's playing his games. And all of a sudden they banned him for it. You see how crazy that is? And not only that, causing that, to he was the top streamer on Twitch, and he gets some wax shoes and got the boot from Twitch. Like no talking things out, no no recourse or anything of any kind. Just, all right, you're gone. No, hey man, you need to tone down on this. We, we'll give you a warning for this, but don't do it again or we're gonna ban you. Like, that would have been a more responsible reason. Since he'd be like, yeah, you're our top streamer, because he's making the money, and just ban them all right for their top streamer. Top streamer on Twitch, gone. They kicked him out. Like they don't want him, period. I, I can understand that he's not much brand safe, but you just can't outright just ban him for no reason. Just saying. And then on the other end, I seen Kick, they grow a lot more people. Oh yeah, before I do that, and also Twitch, Got, I cannot forget about their that guidelines that they had to backpedal off of when it comes to branding deals and everything that they want to try to make it small. <sighs> yeah, I seen that. I really seen that, and it was hilarious. And the funny thing is, I know what they're trying to do. But it needed here or there. But at the end of the day, I made my final decision. Especially when Kid got a 95 buy when it comes to when it comes to ad revenues, like how much you make a month. It's not 50-50 or 70-30. The 50-50 was was another thing that Twitch did. 7030 to 50-50. But at least with Kick, they said that they're gonna do a 95 or twelve dollars not twelve but what was it sixteen an hour? Sixteen dollars an hour, which is above the national above the highest national minimum wage. So you can make a good living off of it. And many other perks that would be like, okay, I'm gonna give them a shot. So the way those two out. I'm sorry to which but I'm gonna try to debut my 24 hour stream on Kick. Cause Kick giving me more incentive to join them. So for me, I say I'ma do I'ma do Kick for a minute. I'ma try it out, see how it goes. And if I like it, cool. If I don't, that's cool too. But at the end of the day, I want to try to make sure I do good in the long run that'll help me revenue-wise and have fun. I want people to have fun with me. I want people to participate with me. I want people to, to get to know my platform and see what I do. That what matters more than anything else. With that being said, tomorrow, 24 hour live stream in the morning, all the way to the next day, starts tomorrow on kick on kick i will get that set and ready for you guys and hopefully y'all enjoy the content and i'm going to try to do my best as i can because 24 hours is a long time to produce content and for me i like content but i will be on twitch every now and then because you know i got some streamers on there that I enjoy watching and everything and donate to because I admire their, their talent, okay? But with that being said, 
thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for checking my channel out. And see y'all tomorrow on Kick, which I will stream exclusively 24 hours. And I will let y'all know that I'm on, on Kick. Love you guys. Be